If France was our partner, it was supposed to help us fight against terrorism. But since 2016, there has been no change. We think France doesn't deserve Burkina Faso's trust. If France fails to provide any benefits to Africa and instead exploits it, would it be wise to allow such actions? Witnessing these circumstances, the people of Africa took to the streets, urging France to leave. Subsequently, they welcomed Russia. However, the West is jealous of the relationship between Russia and Africa, as Russia refrains from exploiting the continent and prevents the West from doing so. Africa is reaping benefits from its association with Russia, intensifying Western frustration. The question arises, why is the West so desperate to engage with Africa again? Can Russia prevent the West from regaining control over Africa? Let's find out. In 2023, Burkina Faso made a big move by cutting ties with France, its old colonial boss. This spark talks about a change in global politics. Zoom in to 2024, and those talks are now real. Burkina Faso is shaking hands with Russia, building up new friendships. The Kremlin isn't just talking, they've set up shop in Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso's capital, and sent in many troops. This move is raising eyebrows and questions. Why is Burkina Faso making this shift? What's Russia's game in West Africa? Burkina Faso was in a long-standing relationship with France, but in 2023, they decided to call it quits. No more ties with the old colonial master. This bold decision set the stage for something big. People started guessing about a shift in the geopolitical landscape. Fast forward to today, and Burkina Faso isn't solo. Russia has slid into the picture. They're not just talking about friendship, they've set up camp. Ouagadougou now hosts a Russian embassy. They've pulled up a chair at Burkina Faso's diplomatic table. But it's not just diplomats and handshakes. Russia isn't sending flowers. They've sent in troops. Burkina Faso is getting a taste of the Russian military. Why? That's the question in the air. Why would Burkina Faso ditch France for Russia? It's the million dollar question. Some say it's about breaking free from the old colonial grip. Burkina Faso wants a fresh start, and Russia seems bold. Is this a friendship blossoming, or are there hidden agendas at play? Russia expanding its turf in Africa is a smart move. They get a strategic foothold, and Burkina Faso gets a new ally. But, and it's a big but, the motives behind this need a closer look. Behind every geopolitical move, there's usually a bag of tricks. Some say it's about the money. Russia's eyeing Burkina Faso's resources could be the plot twist. Whatever it is, Burkina Faso needs to keep its eyes wide open. This isn't just a Burkina Faso affair. The neighbors are watching. When big players like Russia make moves, it ripples across the pond. What does this mean for the West African region? Will other countries follow suit? France, the ex, isn't sitting quietly. Losing Burkina Faso is a hit. They're not thrilled about Russia taking the spotlight. The international arena is buzzing with opinions. Some cheer the change, seeing it as a break from the past. Others are skeptical, wondering if Burkina Faso trades one master for another. So let's dive deep into every concern and answer all the questions that have filled your mind until now. What led to Burkina Faso's shift? Burkina Faso, a West African nation with a rich history and a vibrant culture, recently made headlines for a decision that sent shockwaves across the continent, ending ties with France. This bold move was not a sudden whim, but the culmination of years of frustration and a desire for a new chapter in the nation's journey. The decision to cut the cord with France was not born overnight. It sprouted from years of discontent fueled by perceived French ineffectiveness in tackling the rising tide of Islamist insurgencies. Like many African nations, Burkina Faso had reached a breaking point in its patience. The ghosts of colonialism cast a long shadow over Burkina Faso. Lingering resentment over the historical baggage of French colonial rule added fuel to the fire. The people of Burkina Faso felt a burning desire to break free from the chains of the past and forge a new identity, independent of the colonial shadows. Burkina Faso did not just walk away, it executed a carefully crafted strategy to disentangle itself from France. This strategy was multifaceted, involving diplomatic actions, symbolic actions, and an information warfare offensive. Diplomacy became Burkina Faso's weapon of choice. 
the nation engaged in strategic dialogues with other African countries, fostering alliances and partnerships that would provide the necessary support during this transition. Burkina Faso's leaders skillfully navigated the diplomatic landscape, ensuring a smooth departure from the French connection. Symbolism played a crucial role in signaling Burkina Faso's newfound independence. From renaming streets that once bore French colonial names to embracing indigenous languages in official communications, the nation embarked on a symbolic journey of reclaiming its cultural identity. These gestures resonated deeply with the people, fostering a sense of pride and unity. In the information age, Burkina Faso recognized the power of controlling the narrative. The nation strategically employed information warfare to shape public perception and garner international support. Social media platforms became battlegrounds where Burkina Faso conveyed its reasons for the breakup, dispelling misconceptions and garnering support for its newfound autonomy. Through this tumultuous journey, Burkina Faso remained attuned to the pulse of its people. Regular town hall meetings and open forums allowed citizens to voice their opinions and concerns. The progress of jihadist forces, so there's resentment in the population as there was in Mali, where even some, some demonstrators were complaining that France will be, maybe was a complice of some of these uh, jihadist groups. The government made a concerted effort to ensure that the decision to part ways with France reflected the people's collective will. As Burkina Faso steps into this new chapter of its history, there is a real sense of optimism and excitement. The nation is charting its course, unburdened by the weight of historical grievances. The decision to sever ties with France was not an act of hostility, but a declaration of independence, a proclamation that Burkina Faso was ready to forge its destiny. But why are Russian troops deployed? Here's a reminder to please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on black culture, history, civilization, and identity. Let's continue now. Uh, what the governments are saying is they want the ability to choose their preferred security partner. Violence in the West African nation has killed thousands of people. Russia has ushered in a new era in its military engagement in Africa with the establishment of the Africa Corps. This freshly formed military organization takes the reins from the paramilitary group Wagner, marking a deliberate move towards a more formal and transparent approach to the African continent. The transition from Wagner to the Africa Corps symbolizes Russia's departure from the shadows of paramilitary operations towards a more visible and accountable role in African affairs. This move aligns with Russia's evolving strategy, emphasizing a structured military presence rather than relying on covert actors. The Africa Corps has made its first official deployment to Burkina Faso, signaling Russia's commitment to stabilizing the region. This move is not a mere shift in personnel, but a strategic repositioning, reflecting a more direct and hands-on approach to security concerns. A key objective of the Africa Corp is to ensure the security of Captain Ibrahim Traore, the transitional president of Burkina Faso. This commitment highlights Russia's support for stability and governance in the region, aligning its interests with the aspirations of the Burkina Faso leadership. On se sent en famille en ce sens que la Russie est une famille aussi pour l'Afrique. The Africa Corps' mission extends beyond mere protection. It involves a comprehensive approach to enhancing local capabilities. The Russian military organization is actively training local troops and transferring skills and knowledge that empower Burkina Faso to manage its security independently. Additionally, the Africa Corps conducts patrols in high-risk zones proactively addressing potential threats. This hands-on involvement aims to not only safeguard the leadership, but also contribute to the overall security landscape of Burkina Faso. Russia's decision to establish the Africa Corp represents a departure from the traditionally opaque nature of its military interventions. The move towards transparency indicates a willingness to engage openly with African nations, fostering a more cooperative and accountable relationship. While the Africa Corps deployment signifies a more formal approach, Russia carefully maintains a delicate balance. The military organization operates with due respect for Burkina Faso's sovereignty, avoiding an overbearing presence that might be perceived as pushy. This approach is an example of Russia's recognition of the importance of fostering partnerships based on mutual respect. What does this mean for France and the West? 
Burkina Faso's official deployment of Russian troops has solidified Moscow as its primary cooperation partner and ushered in a geopolitical shift with implications reverberating far beyond West Africa. The enhanced military presence of Russia in Burkina Faso, coupled with its growing influence in neighboring Mali and Niger, raises red flags for Western powers. Burkina Faso's decision to officially deploy Russian troops clearly indicates a strategic realignment. Russia now stands as the primary cooperation partner for Burkina Faso, marking a departure from historical ties with Western nations. This solidification of Russia's role alters the geopolitical landscape in West Africa and has broader implications for global power dynamics. Russia's heightened military presence in Burkina Faso, coupled with its influence in neighboring Mali and Niger, creates a strategic corridor in the Sahel region. This corridor poses challenges for Western powers, particularly France, as it diminishes their historical dominance. Once considered within the sphere of Western influence, the Sahel is undergoing a transformation that redefines strategic actions. The recalibration in Burkina Faso raises significant concerns for Western powers, especially traditional allies like France. The deployment of Russian troops challenges the status quo and signals a diminishing influence of Western nations in shaping the security and geopolitical landscape in the Sahel. As Russia consolidates its presence, Western powers are left grappling with the implications of a changing narrative in a region long considered within their sphere of influence. France, in particular, finds itself at a crossroads, struggling to maintain the influence it once held in Burkina Faso and the broader Sahel region. The deployment of Russian troops manifests a shifting allegiance, forcing France to reassess its diplomatic and strategic approach in the face of evolving geopolitical dynamics. The struggle to maintain relevance emphasizes Western power's challenges as alternative players gain prominence. The recalibration in Burkina Faso is not an isolated event, but part of a broader trend challenging Western dominance in Africa. The enhanced presence of Russia in the Sahel sends a ripple effect, prompting the West to re-evaluate its engagement strategies on the continent. As Africa diversifies its partnerships, the West must navigate a landscape where traditional alliances are no longer guaranteed, requiring a finer and more adaptable approach. What will be the long-term impact of this decision? Is Russia planning to use Africa? The unfolding events in Burkina Faso paint a vivid picture of the ever-changing landscape of African geopolitics. Russia's calculated steps in this West African nation carry implications far beyond its borders. As Burkina Faso becomes a focal point, the consequences and regional implications of Russia's strategic positioning come into sharp focus. The situation in Burkina Faso serves as an example of Russia's ambitions in the region. By establishing a presence in Burkina Faso, Russia strategically places itself as a key player in West African geopolitics. This move isn't just about Burkina Faso. It's a calculated step towards asserting influence and expanding its footprint across the continent. In this geopolitical game, Burkina Faso becomes more than just a nation on the map. It transforms into a potential springboard for Russia's broader expansion in Africa. The strategic positioning in Burkina Faso lays the groundwork for future engagements, allowing Russia to extend its influence beyond the immediate theater of events. The recent visits of military leaders from Niger and Chad to Moscow add a diplomatic layer to Russia's African engagement. These interactions hint at a deeper level of cooperation, not confined to Burkina Faso alone. The diplomatic actions suggest a broader Russia-Africa security collaboration with potential future deployments in other regions. The unfolding scenario points towards a new era of security cooperation between Russia and African nations. Beyond the immediate concerns in Burkina Faso, Russia's engagement opens the door for collaborative efforts in addressing shared security challenges across the continent. This could lead to joint initiatives, intelligence sharing, and coordinated responses to emerging threats. The writing on the wall suggests that Burkina Faso might not be the final destination for Russia's military presence in Africa. The calculated moves and diplomatic engagements hint at potential future deployments in other regions. Russia's strategic calculus extends beyond the current crisis positioning itself to play a more active role in shaping the security dynamics of the entire African continent.
Russia faces a balancing act in regional dynamics when it comes to Burkina Faso. The actions taken in the region must resonate with the broader African context. Russia's engagements are seen as cooperative efforts, fostering partnerships rather than imposing influence. Striking this balance is crucial for the long-term success of Russia's strategic objectives in the region. What do Africans have to say about all this? Are they happy with France leaving and Russia entering? The recent strategic moves by Burkina Faso's junta to sever ties with France have not only altered the geopolitical landscape, but have also stirred the sentiments of the Burkina Bay people. A carefully calculated approach involving public displays of pro-Russian sentiment, information warfare, and legal actions has set the stage for a new chapter in Burkina Faso's history, leaving the West grappling to comprehend the evolving geopolitical dynamics. From rallies adorned with Russian flags to murals portraying solidarity with Moscow, the Burkina Bay people have become active participants in this diplomatic recalibration. The calculated nature of these displays aims to shape public opinion, fostering a sense of alignment with Russia's influence in the region. Burkina Faso's people understand the power of information in the modern age, and they have unleashed a campaign of information warfare to mold public perception. The narrative has been carefully crafted through social media platforms and strategic messaging to emphasize the benefits of the shift away from France towards a closer association with Russia. The information battleground has become crucial for shaping domestic and international views on Burkina Faso's geopolitical repositioning. The junta's approach extends beyond public displays and information warfare. Legal schemes and political calculations play a pivotal role. Carefully navigating international law, Burkina Faso's leadership has undertaken steps to legitimize its decisions in the eyes of the global community. This strategic use of legal avenues strengthens Burkina Faso's position and adds a layer of legitimacy to the geopolitical shift. The abrupt severance of ties with France has left the West in a state of disarray, scrambling to understand and respond to the new geopolitical landscape in Burkina Faso. The traditional alliances and influence channels are being recalibrated as Russia emerges as a dominant player in this African nation. The West grapples with the reality that Burkina Faso's recalibration is not just a localized event, but a reflection of broader shifts in global power dynamics. As Burkina Faso tilts towards Russia, the geopolitical pendulum swings and Moscow emerges as a dominant player in the nation's affairs. The calculated moves by Burkina Faso's junta have positioned Russia strategically not just as a diplomatic ally, but as a key influencer in shaping the trajectory of Burkina Faso's future. This newfound dominance reshapes the geopolitical chessboard in the region and demands a recalibration of global power dynamics. How will things change for different regions in Africa? As Burkina Faso undergoes a seismic power shift with Russia assuming a prominent role, the Sahel region finds itself at the epicenter of a geopolitical battlefield. The ramifications are still unfolding, but one certainty emerges. The Sahel is no longer a playground for Western dominance. With Russia's burgeoning influence in Burkina Faso, questions arise about the future balance of power in this strategically vital region. The Sahel, once under the shadow of Western dominance, is experiencing a paradigm shift. Burkina Faso's recalibration departs from the traditional narrative where Western powers held sway. The winds of change are reshaping the Sahel's geopolitical landscape, and Russia's ascendance introduces a new player into the arena, altering the dynamics of influence. At the heart of this geopolitical maelstrom lies Burkina Faso, serving as the epicenter of power shifts in the Sahel. The nation's recalibration aligns with a broader trend, challenging the established norms of Western dominance and creating a space for alternative influences. Russia's growing presence raises the stakes, turning Burkina Faso into a focal point for global powers vying for strategic advantage in the Sahel. The long-term consequences of this power shift are yet to unfold, casting a veil of uncertainty over the future balance of power in the Sahel. As Russia deepens its influence in Burkina Faso, it becomes a key player in shaping the region's destiny. The geopolitics are in flux, and the Sahel becomes a testing ground for the efficacy of alternative alliances and partnerships. The Sahel, a vast expanse stretching across Africa, holds immense strategic significance. 
its geopolitical importance is magnified by factors such as security concerns, resource wealth, and its role as a crossroads for regional trade. The recalibration in Burkina Faso amplifies the Sahel's relevance, transforming it into a battleground where global powers vie for influence, seeking to secure their strategic interests. In an era marked by a relentless pursuit of dignity and mutual respect, Africa asserts its autonomy by declaring a decisive shift in diplomatic alliances. The continent certainly expresses that it will no longer tolerate relationships characterized by exploitation and one-sided interests. The message is unmistakable. Africa seeks friends who genuinely respect its sovereignty and contributions. Surprisingly, the focus of this allegiance recalibration extends beyond the traditionally dominant Western nations in France. In a noteworthy deviation, Africa extends a hand of friendship to Russia, recognizing a shared commitment to mutual respect. This paradigm shift highlights Africa's determination to foster partnerships founded on equality, fair cooperation, and acknowledgement of its inherent worth. The decision to embrace friendships based on respect resonates with a broader vision of a more balanced and just global order. As Africa navigates the complexities of international relations, this bold declaration catalyzes fostering alliances, prioritizing collaboration over exploitation, signaling a key moment in the continent's pursuit of a dignified and equitable place on the world stage. Do you think Africa's decision to align with Russia is right? Was France good for Africa? Are Africans finally standing up for themselves? Let us know in the comment section. Is kicking France out the right decision? Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about. The black culture, civilization, history, and evidence about how glorious blacks have been. Thanks for watching. And until the next video, stay tuned.